Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Everybody, please have a seat. Hello, Brisbane. Uh, it's good to be back in Australia. Distinguished guests, million followers on Twitter. Just bragging a little bit. I don't think that's quite as much as Lady Gaga, but it's still pretty good. This city, uh, this part of Australia, is just stunning. Uh, beautiful one day, and then perfect the next. Yeah, I hear, yeah, that's what I understand. Uh, we travel a lot around the world. You have some. <laughs> uh, part of the reason I have fond memories uh, the sense of humor. Uh, I learned to speak a little strine. I, uh, I'm tempted to give it a burl. That's about as far as I can go, actually. Um, but I do want to take this opportunity to express once again the gratitude of the American people for the extraordinary alliance with Australia. Uh, I tell uh, my friends and, and family and, and people that I meet that uh, there is an incredible commonality between Australia and the United States. And, and whether that's because uh, so many of us uh, traveled here, a safer, more just place for future generations. And that's what brings me here today, the future that we can build together here in the Asia-Pacific region. Chinese, Vietnamese, Basa Indonesia, Korean, Hindi, global city in a global trends towards a changing climate. Free to come. Do we move towards further integration, more justice, more peace, or do we move towards disorder and conflict? And in bad, you can count on the United States of America. Our people have been skeptical about this rebalancing. They've, they're wondering whether America has the staying power to sustain it. And it's true that in recent years, pressing events around the world demand our attention. As the world's only superpower, the United States has unique responsibilities that we gladly embrace. America shares the grief of these Australian families region. It reinforces our engagement in this region. Our rebalance is not only about the United States doing more in Asia, it's also about the Asia-Pacific region doing more with us around the world. First, the United States will continue strengthening our alliances. With Japan, we'll find I did ask my ambassador what this was all about. <laughs> and he described to me how crocodiles kill more people than sharks, and there are just a lot of things in Australia that can kill you. <laughs> but that's an aside. <laughs> we have an ironclad commitment to the sovereignty, independence, and the United States welcomes the continuing You seem to think you're doing something wrong. <laughs> You'd prefer everybody just praise you. I understand. <laughs> but that's not how societies move forward. And like you, they're ready to lead. To the young woman with an idea who dream can make to ignite positive change. And when you succeed, the world will be a little more free. So that's the future we can build together. That's the commitment America's making to the States of America. So thank you very much. God bless Australia. God bless America. God bless our great alliance. Thank you.